Ever wonder why the ocean is so salty? Well, the answer lies in the concept of salinity, a measure of all the salts dissolved in water. Now, you might think that all parts of the ocean are equally as salty, but in reality, the level of saltiness isn't uniform. It varies across different parts of the world due to factors like temperature, evaporation and precipitation. But where does this salt come from and how does it get into the ocean? The answer may surprise you. It turns out the ocean's saltiness is a result of a long, natural process. Let's start with something as simple as rain. When rain falls on land, it interacts with rocks in a process known as weathering. This process slowly breaks down the rocks, releasing various ions including sodium and chloride, the building blocks of salt. These tiny ions, once freed from the confines of the rock, hitch a ride on flowing water, often in the form of rivers. The rivers, like natural conveyor belts, carry these ions on an epic journey towards the sea, adding to the ocean's saltiness. But the rivers aren't the only contributors. Deep beneath the ocean surface, Hydrothermal vents spew out superheated water laden with minerals. As this water mixes with the ocean, it too adds a dash of saltiness. The journey of a single salt grain from land to sea is quite an adventure. As it turns out, the ocean's saltiness is crucial for marine life. You see, most marine creatures have to constantly balance the amount of salts in their bodies, a process known as osmoregulation. Picture a fish swimming along in the sea to ensure that it doesn't become too salty due to the surrounding seawater. It drinks lots of water and excretes the excess salts through specialized cells in their gills. Quite the balancing act, right? But let's not forget about the extremophiles, the real tough cookies of the ocean. These organisms have adapted to thrive in highly salty conditions, conditions that would be lethal to most other life forms. They're a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on this planet. This all goes to show that the level of saltiness in the ocean isn't just a matter of flavor. So, the right pinch of salt helps keep the ocean's biodiversity thriving. Mm, but not all bodies of water share the ocean's saltiness. Why is that? Well, let's dive in. Lakes and rivers are primarily fed by precipitation. That's rainfall and melting snow. This water hasn't had the chance to pick up many salts. Unlike the oceans, these freshwater bodies don't have a continuous supply of salt. Sure, they receive some from the surrounding land and rocks, but it's often carried away by outgoing rivers or locked up in sediments. Now let's turn our attention to marine life. In salt water, creatures have adapted to handle the high salt levels by actively excreting salt through their gills. On the flip side, freshwater fish do the opposite, retaining salts and excreting large amounts of dilute urine. This stark contrast between freshwater and saltwater environments leads to a fascinating diversity of life. From the salty seas to the fresh waters of our lakes, each body of water on Earth plays a unique role in supporting life. 